Well, welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where I've improved the bees a little bit. Uh, people have mentioned that... Oh yeah, that's working good. That's working good. Oh, that's going to be a lot of copper. Uh, people have mentioned that I should probably go straight for the apiaries, um, which are like a multi-block thing, which I, I haven't used before. Um, but they don't look like they're pretty easy to make, and you can make them with... Does it have to be a tier 4 bee nest? Or a tier 4 hide of upgrade? Okay, cool. Or... Oh no, that's just his profession thing. Sweet. Yeah, okay, so we still need the tier 4 ones. Um, and these are like uh, multi-blocks. Um, which look like they can be made out of, of heaps of stuff. Like glass. Oh, if I had advanced tags on, which I, I don't. No, I can't see that. Um, I think quite a few different blocks are valid apiary blocks. And it will probably be a lot better than the situation. I don't know if the, oh, the honeycomb collecting is easier. Like if maybe you can just pipe honeycombs out. Maybe, maybe, but I've never used it, so I'm not sure. But yes, so uh, I'm wanting to make another vacuumulator but I didn't have any lodestones um, so I went mining in the nether and uh, it was actually really really easy to get this much ancient debris uh, because we, we have the scanner and I just set it to find ancient debris and with our crushing wheels we're already getting extra bonus so that was like 64 and 4 yeah, I think it was 64 and 4. And you can see we're getting a lot of bonus stuff. So we'll be able to get full full netherite armor. I guess maybe I upgrade the pants as well, just because. And we could we could upgrade all our tools, and maybe we do, because we've got mending on everything now anyway. And yes, then I'll make another vacuumator. Um, I was kind of trying to hold on to the honeycombs, because I want to set the filter to... Like blacklist anything that's not a honeycomb. And we'll set that up and then I don't think I'll touch these anymore. Uh, maybe we'll chuck some bees in here if, if we need a specific resource, but uh, next time we, we get into bees we'll be making the apiaries instead. Because we almost we almost could. But I think we've done enough bees for now, so I'll just quickly uh, whip up another one of these vacuumulators and uh, then let's let's get into something else. Uh, we ended up with this much netherite. So yeah, started off with 64 and 4. We tripled in a bit. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So 233 netherite scraps. I'm pretty sure you have to divide that by 4. Now, is there a cheaper way? Induction smelter uses 4 netherite scrap. It's cheaper on gold and i actually am short of gold okay Ooh, six netherite blocks that's pretty good and uh full netherite armor just because uh i know it's way harder to do that uh in vanilla very easy to do in modded uh depending on what you've got but hey so that's done we've got uh another vacuumator picking up stuff i'm even putting it into chests now which are they're going to fill up pretty quick, but you, you, know, you can move these and hold a bit in the hoppers as well. So I'm just going to leave these things running, occasionally come over, grab some stuff out, and uh, start processing it. Our centrifuge is really struggling to keep up. Uh, he's not doing great. He's not doing great. I would suspect... I would suspect he's not keeping up. Um, but we're, we're getting a bit of stuff. A bit of logs, a bit of logs, a bit of copper, which is actually handy because I am very short on copper. But, I think it's time to look at finishing what quests we need to. Um, or at least finishing some of these chapters, because we're pretty... Well, we're semi-close to finishing the Magic Apprentice. Um, gates, yeah, obviously we're not, we're not, we're not there yet. Um, but Tech, we've only actually got a couple of things left. Although, in saying that, these, these could be quite involved. I don't want to speak too soon. We've got like the Magma Crucible, which we can then get into Tickers somehow. 
making rock wool, uh, getting into Xnet, which could be quite nice uh, for transferring some power and stuff around. Um, and then if we come all the way down here, we've got superheated steel, which this looks kind of interesting. So so we make it. Uh, I pick it, it sets us on fire. Uh, we then can use that to make the foundry controller. I've never made a foundry, so that's going to be interesting. Or we multi-servo press it into hot compressed. And then we drop that in water, and then we get compressed iron. Which gets us into all the pneumatic craft stuff. So I'm picking that, if we look at computer science, that's where we get into pneumatic craft, which is, hey, that's then leading down into, that is then leading down into here, which would be nice. But I think, I think I want to get into pretty pipes. Probably something I should have done earlier. But I think that would be nice. And actually the first quest we wanted was making some of these pipes. Uh, making this extraction module. And making this retrieval module. Just because, yeah, crafting things is a little bit painful at the moment. So this looks not bad. Create shafts. Any glass. Tin plates. Not a problem. Um, like we could set up mechanical crafters for this, oh, that's the, a different thing, but I don't think any of that's really worth it. Uh, low extraction module, copper nuggets, stone slabs, and low retrieval observers, yeah. These should be pretty easy. Uh, this might be more difficult. Oh, we're going to have to go through all the retrieval modules. Uh, so we turn the low one. Using Invar, which we've got, into the medium. Medium using Electrum, which we don't have, but I'm assuming the alloy furnace can make that, into the high retrieval. Uh, pulls items from other inventories in the network. High tiers prevent oversending, okay. There might be a book on this we can use, but looks like Invar's the main difficult thing in there. A low crafting module, that looks pretty sweet. Uh, super glue. Slime and iron. That shouldn't be a problem. There are a couple of slime islands out this way. They're actually just out of render distance. So there's one up there. And if I turn my head, one, one, one over there. So let's assemble those bits and pieces and let's check out what Pretty Pipes is like. Because I've, I've never used this before. All right, so just got a bunch of these pipes and a bunch of these retrieval modules. Now what do these look like? I mean, they look pretty cool. They look pretty cool. Uh, let's just test them. Like if we were to grab this thing. And we put stuff in here. Low extraction module. Nice. Um... Cool, and we can. It's got a little bit of filtering on there, so that's kind of cool. I mean, I, these weren't actually that hard to make. I probably should have been making them earlier. <laughs> and actually, reading the quest, it does say, "Put put down that hopper." No, down. Just leave it. I've definitely been using uh, hoppers the entire time. But okay, what if we had a retrieval module? Actually, this probably would go here, right? If we had this here. Uh, low retrieval module. And not that. And we... Why can't I access that? There we go, need an empty hand. If this was here... Okay, nice. That's cool. That is cool. Alright. So that seems pretty simple. The The next thing is this crafting terminal. Now I don't know how this thing works. So I might just craft it and then we will... We'll see what the GUI looks like. You know, see, what, see what options we have. Okay, so getting there. I made a couple of these because I think we will want to... And then we just need a couple of string. And hey, a crafting 
terminal. So we might also want the item terminal. I, I'm not actually sure. What happens if we just plonk this down? Needs to be connected to a pipe network. Okay. Okay, and if we... Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. So, like, if we came over here, then... And we had... I don't know, something like this. Okay. And we can search, so if we like, we need a spawner. Interestingly... Oh, there we go, I just had to scroll. That's not bad, that's not bad. And then this thing apparently can do crafting. So if I was like, I want to craft a... Sending one oak bookshelf. Okay. I mean that's neat. Can we just we can just shift click stuff on there. Cool. I might want to I mean I might want to find out where all the all of that stuff just went and ruined my organization, but hey, that's pretty neat. Um we could set up some kind of centralized storage system. I think a bunch of these chests is probably still a good way to go. I don't know if we have any big crates. We don't have those crates. Actually, again, look in the chests because I did find all the... There's all these storage module ones, or all these pretty pipes ones rather. And it looks like it's it's got a lot of information that I, ha I haven't quite read through yet so I won't just hand them in. But I can't see any other big storage. Yeah, I think a bunch of big chests and we'll just set up set up like a centralized storage slash crafting area. Um, I'm not sure how the auto crafting works, but uh, it'll hopefully be pretty cool. Got a trick kit. What's that one? You are immune to bad omen and unluck. No. And actually, to stop mobs spawning all the time, we're just going to craft this mega torch. Which prevents natural spawning of hostile monsters. Uh, so if we were to plank this, I guess in the, like the center of our base, I don't know, about there. Um, you can see there are mobs on the map. Now we could wait for them to despawn, or we, we could do this. Mobs despawn. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and that should stop all those annoying zombies, although it says big radius. I don't know how big that is. Actually, we can see there's already a mob spawned over here, although that's near the portals. That might just be a... No. Our mobs can spawn underneath that. Interesting. And the last couple of these guys... Um... This should be pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I thought I was going to get out of here, but can we... Actually, I need to run the pipe as well. Which I think I left them in here. Now yeah, we could do something a lot fancier than this, but I was just trying to not take up too much room. Now we could, if we we're sneaky... There we go. Uh, let's just test this. So we put a diamond there, a diamond in that one. I just want to make sure it's not an issue that this one pipe's connecting to four storage things all at once. We come up here. Ah, oh, you're not connected. Interesting. Interesting. So I'd have to... We could do this. Not quite what I had in mind. Actually, did I need to make an item terminal? If the crafting terminal also has the item things. I didn't think I'd... I mean, I thought I did. I misunderstood how that worked. 
And we could just do that. It's not a great look. Um, it's kind of slow. And you can't just... Right, you can't just grab stuff out. Request a stack, okay. Oh, and can we... Is this going to automatically craft it? Oh, it lets you... But I'm confused, that's kind of just... Okay, but can we say, for example... Aha, there we go. And then if these were in, in here... Right, so we can we can do it that way. Like I would like a block of diamond. Give me those ingredients. They are all going to get sent up, and then eventually we get the block of diamond. Okay, cool. Now that's all right. We'll just have to bookmark a bunch of recipes if we want to do it that way. Nice. Um, I guess I oh, it retains it. I don't really don't really need it to. I guess I just buff a bunch of stuff. In these chests. This is pretty sweet. Um, you can order by name, order by mod, order by mount. Mount is generally what I like to see things as. Uh, so we could, uh, unfortunately you can't like hover over and do the usage. Once we get this we could then say hey, can we request Oh, it does work. The stack size also works over here. Nice. That's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. It's a little bit annoying to use. A little bit annoying to use. Oh, and we have uh, fire resistance uh, from from our mango habanero wings. Nice. Nice. I like it. I like it. That is going to save a lot of time. So if we come back to our mechanical mayhem, we've done these quests. That was pretty quick. I'm thinking getting into tinkers could be fairly involved. Rock wool. Rock wool. Oh, slag can be obtained directly from gravel in a furnace in large quantities. Well, um, we've actually got. Let's get a stack of cobblestone. Eventually make its way up. We can crush this into gravel. I don't think I've got a whole heap of gravel at the moment. And then what? We can we can just smelt this into slag. Uh, I think I turned all my gravel into sand. That gets us one. Okay. Yeah, we can use that for concrete powder. All right. Uh, but for getting rock wool. Oh, we just smelt the slag again. Can we do it in here? We can. Nice, nice. So there's rock wall. Uh, okay, so once we've got that, we're then looking at this ore stuff. Place a connector next to a block machine that should be connected to the network. And I guess we just get to pick which color we want, but we need the valid color of rock wall. Oh, we can change them anyway. Oh, I'll tell you what. This crafting terminal is, is something I probably should have made a long time ago. Oh, we're out of bottles again. Yeah, we're out of bottles again. We're processing all that stuff though. And hey, that's... That's a random smattering of different things. And I can eat these. Because I have it. Now these honey bottles actually give you like different effects. Like, that's a decent amount of haste actually. It's like mining faster, resistance is cool, night vision, ooh. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, but I was doing it just for the... Water, oh, conduit power, so that's water breathing, right? I'm sure that's what conduit power is. Yes. Oh, so if we had more ICBs, we could, we could go underwater. 
That could be good actually. But anyhow, let's finish off crafting our Xnet stuff. Well, the controller at least. Uh, we probably won't actually get to, to implementing that today, but... Do I have the stuff for this? I do. And yep, that's... That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Xnet controller. I haven't made the... Uh, let's just make some Xnet cables. Oh, Signalum. I haven't made that. That was pretty simple, right? Wait, have I made Signalum? Silver, copper, redstone? I did somewhere. That's kind of neat. And then a red connector. Place connector. I said we have to put that on machines and then the cables just hook everything together. Nice. And that's finished that. So we've just got Tinker stuff to get into probably next episode and more Tinker stuff. And compressed iron. Sweet, sweet. Now as for this, uh, does this need power? Does... Um, yeah, I haven't actually played around with XNet before, so... I know it's useful for things um, like kind of transfer items, logic storage, RF tool storage, okay, okay. Alright, items, fluid, gas. Yeah, this could be handy, this could be handy. And the RF tool storage, that might be a nice, a nice thing to get into and then we can like... That's done something. And then we, we connect that. Actually, that probably has to connect like that. And hey, we can see... Yeah, I need to do some research on how this works, but it looks it looks useful. Uh, yeah, yeah, remove. Remove whatever that was. But, uh, sweet. So I probably won't go too crazy, like, connecting all machines and automating lots of stuff with pretty pipes, uh, if you even can. I... I don't like automating things twice, so so I would like to hold off till refined storage, but that that could that could still be a little while away. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. But anyhow, it's been classic stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.